Hey there guys, I have uh, another video for you guys. It's uh, called Enjoy the Suckage. Basically, this is a process of failing and sucking at the thing that you're trying to achieve. And slow, you gotta enjoy that slow reward of uh, sucking at something and you'll get those little mini rewards along the way, but ultimately, I think what happens with some people is that uh, they don't really enjoy that process and uh, I, I wanted to really um, try and put a, a nice spin on it and um, that's what you enjoy the suckage you'll re realize that these things do suck but you're gonna find little mini rewards along the way and they'll come when you least expect it and not to not to be bothered by um, to dwell in that uh, fact that you do suck just really just move along go and keep on soldiering on be positive um, that's the thing that you hear all the time and uh, know it's a process it will uh, take you time so be patient really be patient and have that uh, essentially be optimistic be patient be all the things that they tell you to be in those great motivational videos and <laughs> pretty much roll with the punches don't get stuck in the fact that you're not good at something now. Just keep moving forward. You'll get the you'll get better at it and don't expect too much from it. Don't have this really if you sit and you go like I'm going to have a clear direction and how I'm going to get there and get better at this thing that I really want to get better at. You don't know the actual direction of where this thing might take you and the path that it will lead you on. It could be a really bumpy one. It could be all over the place. You should just go with the flow, agree with that natural flow of learning something and don't get angry at it. Just know that it's going to it's going to throw you a few curveballs and you're going to knock them out and hit them along along with it and uh just uh, be be all the things that deep down, if you sit there and you dwell in the the frustration of it, you probably won't get anywhere. And really, making making sure you're aware of your emotions at the time. You might have a lot of fear. Uh, fear, fear can drive you. Fear is a good uh, motivation for anything. And so, when when you're in that fear state, just use it. Don't numb it. Don't distract yourself with other crap. You know, you can go on social media and think, oh, I can't do the thing that I'm trying to achieve and you sit on Facebook or anything like that. That just numbs you to that fear response that you're having and you use that. Use it like Octane. Just drive with it. You know, don't, don't do anything else except your goal. Maybe take breaks. Don't go crazy with achieving your goal because you, you, you literally will get too tired, too tired to do things at times. So it's a, it's a nice balance. If you can just like soldier on and push through, uh, do it, but um, know that your brain does get tired. It's, it's essentially like a muscle like anything else. So you really need to be kind to yourself. Don't, don't be mean to yourself. Don't tell yourself negative talk. Don't st talk down to yourself. Just be positive. Know that you'll have a bunch of emotions of sh struggling and all the things that come into your mindset. Let them pass. Let them wash over you. You're not your thoughts. You're none of those things that you're constantly thinking and obsessing about. And just let that let it all go and just have that you know, the eye on the prize and go towards that. So I'll leave that there. And um, again, guys, I am doing a mentorship class and I also do one-on-one -on -one, uh, mentorships. And if you guys need help with anything, um, always around. So, and I'll uh, leave my email in the link's description and like and subscribe if you like this, guys. And until next time, guys, I'll, I'll hope you have a good one. See ya.